Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, it is currently 11.30 p.m. on Tuesday night, and this video goes up tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. I mean, it has been a night. My son has been pooping blue. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. It's a thing. Uh, he went to a birthday party and they had blue icing on the cupcakes. And yeah. Blue he, and green. Yeah. And he, and it's a very, it's actually a pretty, pretty blue. But yeah, that was weird. And he drank iced tea and he usually never drinks anything caffeinated, never any soda. And tea every once in a blue moon, Grammy, looking at you. Whew. So yeah. Horrible mistake. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely terrible. We really wanted to get this video out. I really wanted to get this video out because I have been consistent doing my On Wednesdays We Wear Orange since April. And that's pretty impressive for me, so. Very much. Yeah, well, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Megan, this is Greg. This is now our kind of thing. We're doing this together. It's On Wednesdays We Wear Orange and we talk about our time in jail. And this is kind of a follow-up from the video on Monday. I guess it'd be like a, a a prequel. This is when we went to jail and our relationship, like where we stood when we went yeah. in and what happened and yeah. It was not really a relationship at that point anymore. It, it was weird. <laughs> yeah. It had, things had fallen apart for us on every level. Yeah. Before we go any further, like this video, subscribe, turn on the bell notification. I'm posting a ton of content about this Senate Bill 675, which is about Buprenorphine Maintenance Medication Act. It's BS. So please come back for all of those videos and share them. But yeah, this one's for fun. Enjoy. Okay, so this is back in August of 2008. I had to turn myself into jail first on August 26th. And something had happened where he had a bench warrant and got picked up at one of our hearings. So it offset his, um... Just that my dates. Yeah, just offset everything just ever so slightly. I think it was like a week or two. It was a month. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it... I knew when he was supposed to go to jail. And like he said, everything had fallen apart at that point. Like, he... I was homeless. Yeah. <laughs> just trying to Bouncing, survive. Bouncing, yeah. like... I slept in a dugout for a few days. I uh, Couch slept surfed. like under trees. Like I was really rough in it. Slept homeless. in the trunk of my mom's car once because I knew that my stepdad would not let him like anywhere on our property. Within reason, and like, he found out anyway. Yeah. So, but yeah, it was hard, you know. And he had a prepaid phone. I had a cell phone because I still had my mom supporting me, and he didn't have that. Uh, my mom supported you, but not like she does now right and i had started casually seeing someone new it was it was definitely a relationship that had benefits for me us yeah and i continued hanging out with greg the whole time and would go down to the city like i was still with greg like in my mind when i think back in those memories like you were my boyfriend yeah, yeah. and i was dating him like he wasn't my boyfriend but i was dating i don't know it was messy so the night before I went to jail, I had to go shopping for everything because I, <laughs> I procrastinated. You at least you prepared a little bit to go in. Yeah. I did not at all. Yeah. Well, I mean, I even went and met with like the warden of work release warden, and um, I had like the list of everything that I needed to get and all that stuff. So I went out and did that. I texted you. We took acid. Did I take acid or like alone, or did you take some too? Uh. I took acid around that time. I don't think it was then. Uh, I took it while I, I was at Walmart, like, going sh going maybe, shopping maybe, for maybe my work really stuff. Yeah, you had to have done it with me because I don't that really would, know why else. out of the norm for us to not do it together. Yeah, we do everything together. We've always done everything together, and we did everything, everything together. So I think it was, like, bedtime or something, and I don't know, like the guy the other guy stayed the night in my house he i i distinctly remember him wanting to have sex and i was like nope 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 mm -hmm. we're not doing that like he had gotten out of like a long-term relationship with someone that he actually had a kid with and i was supposed to be like the first one after that and i was like nope nope uh -uh. it ain't like that we're not this is not that 
right, right before I go into jail, let me start this brand new thing. Well, oh, I didn't want to be that person. I didn't want to have that much value to him, you know, because I felt like he put yeah. a lot of weight into, you know, he was waiting for someone else and he met me and he wanted to yeah, have, he, have sex for, to, for the second person in his entire life. Yeah. Like, and to me, like, he was more just a diversion for you to, like, with everything going on, there was so much stress and just, like, I, I had very little to offer at that moment. Yeah, and so. and he helped also with, like, my relationships with, with my, my family it and my friends. Way it better. looked way better. Yeah. yeah. And, I mean, I remember going out. I went to the club one night with him, and I ran into people that I went to school with, like, middle school, and they're like, oh, you're doing so good. You look so great. I'm like... I'm in the middle of my heroin addiction. Like, I am a stick. I look like crap, but thanks. Yeah, I'm here with him. But so I snuck out. So he was at my house. And I mean, this was like, what, one in the morning? It was was super late. And we had, I spent like all the money I had saved. And it was like over a grand. And my intention was go big or go home. And I definitely did not give a shit if I overdosed. I did not want to go to jail. Like I didn't want to die, but I didn't want to go to jail. And we sat there together and it was bunk. Yeah. It was bad. And I was just like, mm, that's that. Right. <laughs> so I went home and then the next day I turned myself into jail. And I remember calling your phone a lot. I called the prepaid phone and I, I the way that the prison jails, the prison jails, the prison phones work or the jail phones is you have to say your message or your name in like this little window of time so i knew you weren't gonna pick up I'm, and i would just be like hi it's megan i love you really much i miss you bye yeah, <laughs> and, i'm pretty sure i had no minutes on that oh yeah you like, didn't have minutes on that thing for that. a long time like you didn't even have any minutes when i, I had went no in. money and every dollar i got went to drugs mm-hmm. and i called jenna's phone a lot to try and get her to tell you but that's literally all i did i never expected anybody to pick up so so yeah so i'm in jail and I am expecting him to go to jail about a month later. And yeah, it might not have even been a month. Also on work release, like he was supposed to yeah. go on work release. Now but. I had a job set up. There's videos about that. You'll have to go check it out. I'll link it in the description. What what happened with that? But I had none of those things. No, no job. No, and no, and they they were gonna have to catch me. <laughs> like so. Did you have an intention of getting a job either? Uh, I kind of. I guess I don't know what <laughs> I thought. Probably but not. when I got in there, I was like, no, I'm supposed to be on work release. And they're like, D- but you didn't, you don't have a job. <laughs> but, but, but I you can find put, one. Yeah. I can go out and find one. Yeah. Yeah, sure. You know the, that um, the neighboring county does that. They it, let you go out yeah. and interview. And that's kind of how it should be. Yeah. But I agree. That's not but, how my situation was. Yeah. But in the meantime, like before I ended up in jail, I just kind of did whatever I could to survive. I ended up like two in two relationships like one was like i it wasn't even a relationship you met a girl yeah i just met met a girl and and stayed with her at like her grandma's grandma's house house on the porch like i slept on the porch for a couple nights (sighs) that was great and then i moved on from that and and i had went to like middle elementary school with her at one school and middle school at another school so i knew this girl and like i was bitter i mean did you find out after the fact i guess i found out because you told me in a letter but we'll get there Um, so the second girl before you turn yourself in yeah i i ended up staying with her longer because she lived like in a house like with her family so i could actually in an actual house so i could sleep inside yeah and uh she had a car too which was nice yeah so just kind of did she use yeah 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 of course i don't know who it is i can't remember at Uh, at this point it's not relevant really and like she was a nice girl, had a daughter who was super sweet. But, again, I'm just trying to not go, go to, to jail. jail. Yeah. I'm trying to not be sick every day, I'm trying to get some money, and I'm trying to not go to jail. And eventually I just got so tired of being, like, sick. Defeated. Yeah, yeah. defeated. Absolutely defeated. And I was like, man, I think I'm just going to go to jail. I feel like. Tell so them I- how you did it. I, Tell him how you got there. I called a constable, didn't I? Yeah. 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 What's wrong with that? You don't call someone to take you to jail. Uh, you don't, you can't call a constable like they're a taxi. They came and got me. Yeah, and they paid. They charged you for that, too. I'm sure they probably <laughs> did, but... Um, and it cracks me up. It doesn't like, seem strange to me. I, I, like, you called them. Like, I, I guess I guess that makes sense. I guess I would have, like... Report, like, what was I going to do? Report to the jail, like... Af- 
after after I was supposed to report there and be like, hey, I was supposed to turn myself in like two weeks ago. Yeah. I don't even that know. That probably would have went down better than calling the constable, but like I can't, maybe not much better. I think if I were in your situation and like I know you were a good amount away from the jail, like we don't, we're not near it. Like, yeah. Yeah, we're significantly far farther away from it. So it's not like a, you can walk there or take a bus. There is no public transportation I think there might be now. A smarter me would have found a job and then and gone then in. And then gone in, yeah. But I also, no, I think I saw my license at that point, but I don't think I had a car. Yeah, because they didn't take our license, so there, there's actually a video about that, too, on my channel. I'll link that in the description. They ended up getting mine. Yeah. But they got they, yours? Yeah. yeah. Oh, they got yours because you had other charges, yeah. too. Yeah, well, it didn't matter because I turned myself, well, well, when I gave up my license, I then went to state prison for enough time that my license suspension when i got out was yeah up. see they never took it because they were overlooking the ones that were drug offenses that didn't have a vehicle involved yeah i don't know why my uh, uh me and one retail thefts i'm assuming well Cause, i also cause i know a, a buy out of my car once so yeah a, a sale out of me. Okay. yeah i, I want to say her name but like my best friend you know she got retail thefts and lost her license for years because of it it's crazy yeah that it blows my mind so I were in jail. We had a mutual friend that had gone to jail prior to us, and she went in, like, a different county or something, and I'm not sure if she wrote me first or you first, but I feel like I got a letter, and it was from her and you. It's very fuzzy in my mind, but... So, basically, she was a doll, and she let us communicate. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. And yeah, 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 I remember now. Yeah, and she, you used she to... She like the dawning realization of my face. Oh, that happened. Yeah, so um, she, you used to write your E's backwards, like threes. Like, I remember that. They were all lowercase, weren't they? Or were they all uppercase? They were uppercase and backwards, like threes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, because I wrote capital for a long yeah. time. Yeah, because you were speaking, and what is that? Leap? I mean, it was just an affectation that I thought was super cool. Yeah, Yeah, but... Elite speak is, like, seven, like, numeric. Yeah. Yep, so we wrote a few letters. That's how I found out that he did not go right to jail. Or maybe she told me. Somehow I found out, and at this point, I got to start work. And as you know, if you've seen the video, when I got to work, I met Jake the Snake. (laughs) So... That's a good one, too. Link that in the description. You pick winners. Yeah, I know. For sure. And I was I was pissed. I was pissed because the way that you had handled it, which, honestly, you didn't handle it that differently than, like, I. but I was like, why would you go spend time with someone else and blah, 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 blah. Like, right before I went to jail, I was spending time with someone else. And, right. like, I got so angry at you for doing the yeah. same thing that I did, like, surviving yeah. and existing in a way that people, like, leave you alone. And, uh um, old Megan was not having that. Right. So I had Jake print off a picture of us, and I folded it up nice and neat, wrote Greg this nice little letter being like, fuck you. And when he opened the picture up of me, it was me and Jake. I had punched a locker. I yeah. was not thrilled. But at the time, I realized, I was like, you literally mad at me for the a thing that you did like i was cognizant of that at the time yeah well i was, I was also still probably v- bitter about all the other baggage and shit because i yeah. also found out about our roommate incident at that point too yeah. and i don't know if i even mentioned that but like she approached me in jail through the fences and she was like hey i'm sorry about sleeping with your boyfriend <laughs> she me. what like you're fucking lucky you're over there and i'm here because i would not i would have yeah, I don't know what I would have done. Uncalled for. It, making amends. That is like such Except a bullshit thing. Hurt. Like, mm-mm. But as you can tell, if you've heard that, our son is still awake and it is 11.50. Yo, bro. Help. Help. Okay. Hold on a minute. Since We're coming. I can't handle him crying and whining, it's too cute. That's going to be the end of this video. I mean, that's really all I had to to talk about. Because after that, we just went our separate ways for a while. Until 2014. Oh, no, that's not true. We reconnected after we got out. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. All right. Stay strong. Stay up. Stay sober. Stay alive. Bye, guys. (laughs)